Hi everyone, welcome back to Crata Craft Every Day in the month of August. Today is August 4th. And today is going to be a little bit different than normal. Um, I don't have to be to work at my normal time today. So I figured I could do a little bit um, of just chatting with you all. So today will not be a craft video. It will just be a planning video. And yes, I am not a big pull out the washi tape planner person but I do want to keep my stuff documented so we're going to take the first two minutes or so to just I have a journal too can you believe it it's empty this journal is not for journaling it's just to write down my craft ideas and I so far have a few things that I need to go back and write down but I haven't because I figured um, I could do it with you all so I got this from the Dollar Tree and even though I like color and pink and black are not really um, two color com combinations that are my friend um, these are the two that I found to be okay fairly decent so I've already missed out in writing this thing for the month of July but I can always go back because you know we did um, Christmas in July hop all these days the um the five weeks the five sundays in july but here we are right here and we're just gonna write crater right here and today is the fourth so and the reason why i want to write this out is because i am um losing track of what i've created so far and I don't want to repeat everything. So on Tuesday we created charm bits. On Wednesday we created two cards. And it was called Capture the Memories, the little um, ephemera piece I use. I don't have cutesy handwriting in my opinion, um, but it gets the job done. And then on Thursday, which was yesterday, we um, created Sharpie Canvas Art. And today we are going to do a process video of a flip book. And I want to try to make this flip book Christmas themed only because I still have that paper pad that I cut up for the Christmas in July hop. So that's what we're going to be using. And you've seen this before. I think I have two videos out there already. And if I was a, a fancy smart crafter or a better planner, I could... Um, I probably will go and put the links in the description box down below but at this point as I'm making the video I just pulled out some stuff and was like yeah let's do this so I'm not gonna be writing in my journal at the moment because I don't I don't we'll do that another day on a regular video I guess um, the only thing that will stop us from creating is if my little roommate wakes up so I cheat when I create my um, flip books a lot of people take washi and paper and just piece it together. For me, I don't trust washi. I don't think it's that sturdy. So um, what I normally do is I just grab some envelopes or envelopes, how you say it. And I like these better because you can definitely slide more little trinkets, cut apart, whatever you want to put in there easier than the triangular ones. So this right here, I, what I normally do for mine is, let me move this out the way, is I just take the um, flap of the envelope. As you can see, it was like this, but I've created my gusset right here, this line. And I tend to just fold it up on itself and see how big I want it to be. And then I will score it down 
and so you can see that it's a fairly wide gusset because with all the paper that you add on top of it and folding over it kind of makes it um thick and if you're going to be sticking a whole bunch of stuff in there then that's what happens and this one's already pre-folded as well i did not do these today i must have pulled these out and then didn't want to use them so what I do is I just fold it to this line the line is already created on the envelope and there you have it I do want to tell y'all a quick story while we're doing this so yesterday when I came home so let me show, this, show you this first so this is when it's not pre-folded and the reason why you want to make sure your gussets are big enough is because when you're attaching your paper to each other and it folds over, you want it to be kind of like a little book because that's why it's a flip book, right? So, you want it to be like this. And there you have it. So that's why you want it to be, you know, wide enough. Um, what you can do to make sure that you're not overstuffing them, all your gusses should really be different sizes, except for the, the, the piece that's holding your flip book together. I just usually do it like this because it's easier and you can adjust on the fly as needed. This paper studio envelope, in my opinion, is very sturdy and it's thick and it's cardstock. I mean, craft paper, the color. So I think craft goes well with just about everything, um, except for craft. I don't think you should put craft on craft because it's kind of like putting um, whatever your skin tone shirt on top of your body and it makes you kind of look like you're walking around with no clothes on. So sometimes you can't see your craft projects on top of your craft projects. I hope that made sense. Um, what I'm saying. So let's see if I have a piece of craft right by. And I do, of course. Because I have craft over here. So if I was to do this, you can't really tell. So it's like, like I said, putting your color skin tone on top of your color skin tone. Anyway, we've made our... We're only going to be using three envelopes, so we've got those together. I could not find, which is not surprising to me, my score tape, my run, my um, dot runner, glue runner tape, or whatever you call it. And I do have an ATG, but I don't know where that's it either. I haven't used that in a long time since I started. Told once I told myself you're going to work at your table unless you have a massive project, and I do have a wreath project coming up um, I'll probably do that one next week on the weekend because that takes a lot of um, time and I'll probably prefabricate a lot of things before I do that so now I'm just going to use this tear tape because that's what I have on hand and so before you do that you want to put your pieces together just to see how you want it to fold and since I am left-handed, all of my things tend to fold left-handed. Um, I don't ever think about that until it's like, oh, why did you put your book to flap out a certain way? But I think the recipient figures it out fairly well um, because it's still a book, even though it's not folding normal fold. And I usually read my books or magazines. I look at them backwards anyway, from back to front. So that's okay. And I just like to put it together to look at it before I start taping and gluing anything down. And we will not be using any wet glue today um, on this project. So that's how it's going to look to totally put together with the craft so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna pause it and come back and show you once we will you finish I'll do one strip with you and then I'll do the rest um,
paused. So yesterday when I came home from work, when it was time to feed Nicholas, I went into the pantry, grabbed his cat food, and it fell all over the floor. Just his scoop. So me being the person that I am, I said, you know what? I'll just pour him another one because I know he's going to lap up this food as well. And he eats dry food, not wet food. If it was wet, I would have definitely picked it up off the floor. Um, so essentially, he had two big cappings, well, two scoops of his food. Do you know, I fed him around five-ish. Do you know he ate all of that food before... 630 I was like wow Nicholas that's that's why he's so robust <laughs> but he's greedy he's a greedy little thing and today I just fed him because I didn't feel like dealing with that this morning um, so he's gonna be hungry this afternoon um, because I have some errands to run after work so he's definitely going to be hungry I never worried about feeding him um, food before because when he was first, as I stated before, when I first got him, he was a free range eater. He could eat, come and go as he pleased. And I probably would do that more often with the food that he has now, but he's such a glutton. He's so greedy. And that food costs so much money that I can't afford to just feed him continuously. And it's not very healthy for him. So, even though he thinks I'm being a mean um, pet owner, I want him to be healthy. I don't care if he feels like he's starving. Um, so I'm just brayering this down, or braying it down, however you want to pronounce it. And making sure it sticks. And then I'll come back on this side and do the same thing. I'm wondering if I have paper big enough for this. It may have to be a we're quilted together, but we will see in the next once I connect this together. So I'm going to come back and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're back and before I show you the completed first portion of it, I just want to say I was right when I said I don't think any of these pieces would um, actually fit the book. They're all small. And I like this. I think this red and craft are very pretty together. As well as this green and craft. I don't know about this right here. It looks good too. Um, and I have a few whole pages from the 12 by 12 pad that I could use. And I think I will. But this also looks really nice. And I can definitely just put that on the back of it and so let's go ahead and open this up really quickly and I was thinking maybe I can just make the back I mean the outside black like that but if you have a front you have a back that's what I used to always teach my students when I um, taught um, emergency medicine to them when you're doing EMT if you're gonna check the front you have to check the back okay so we have a front and a back. So this is how it opens. I usually put like a little flap on here, but I think I'm going to leave this as is. And if I can um, remember, I may put like a little ornament or a pickup piece, like a button or something right there. I'm not sure if I remember that. but So I'm not going to put anything on this flap besides just leave it like that. And I usually put like something here. So we open it like this. And this you see this page. Then you see this one, and then you see this page, and then you see this one. So, one, two, three. And since that's the back, I usually put something, in my opinion, that's really nice on the back. Because usually what people do when they get a flip book, they say, oh, it's nice. Let's look at it. And they open it up like that. So, um, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I like how that looks, so we will see if... 
and even though it's on the front on a front flap I don't know um, let's see I think I want to say reserve this piece for that and I could just pull out some stamps and stamp it up but I don't want to do that so um, let's see I'm going to make a quick decision and I do have some plain white that just had little circles at the bottom that we could try to see if it will work and it does look good but I don't know if I want all of the white pages on there like that and I'm just rumbling through this bag see those are all white pages so I could definitely use those but I think I'll just um use something different I think I'm just gonna cut some pa paper from the, the pad that I have and go from there so let me get my mind together and see we still have some pages left over that are full sheets and I don't want to put that uh, foil linen on there I like this but I want to use that for something else I have another idea for that already so I'm gonna use this one um, unfortunately I don't have two pages I only have one so I'll use this page and this black so let me go ahead and cut these out and we'll be back Okay, so we are back, and whew, the cutting struggle is real. I <laughs> was going to use this beautiful paper, and I measured this card, and I cut it down to six by five. So, you can make your judgment on what I did right or wrong. I don't need you to comment. I already know what I did incorrectly. So I'm going to use this page right here on the back since I'm going with all black now. And I did find my corner rounder. Yay! And I really like these. Um, you can get these from their EK Tools and I got mine from Target I believe. Are the Walmart and I got it I believe I got them on sale um, excuse my frog you know I like frogs so I'm not too upset about him visiting I'm just rounding the corners and if you have a corner chomper you definitely can do this um, a lot of my friends here on YouTube and I won't tell you who they are you know who they are and some people that are not my quote unquote friend here on YouTube, people that have storage solutions, let me just go ahead and say that so no one thinks um, there's any drama going on. And if it is, it's not with me and I don't know who it is with because I'm not going to be involved in that kind of chaos. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to ink up all the edges of these papers. Because I will not be putting washi in between them. Um, they have been doing a lot of storage videos and sending me links, a lot of storage. Because I have amassed um, a lot of punches. But as I've been doing this, um, I've been thinking that if I have one piece of tool or tool that can do three things, I'm going to probably get rid of some of those other things that I have and I don't need so again this is how it's going to open and this is definitely the back so I'm going to go ahead and use some tear tape and put that down I really wish I could find things when I say I'm going to use something because I usually keep my score my glue runner or whatever I call it the dot glue runner in my drawer so for it to be missing is quite interesting I know Nicholas doesn't have hands and he can't come over here and mess with stuff besides knock stuff over but where's all my stuff going because I've been practicing putting up for the most part putting up all the stuff as I use it, 
so when I come to craft, I don't have to worry about cleaning up my mess. I can just sit here. And I do enjoy, like I've told you in the past, having things on my desk already at the ready to go because it makes it easy. And I like looking at some of the stuff that I have on my desk. Um, and we've run out of tape, which is cool. That means that I have used one of these already, which is awesome. I'm using my supplies. This one right here that I'm about to use, I got from Joanne Fabric, and you can see it's a little bit thinner. And hopefully it works. Um, at work, I use double-sided tape because I probably because I like it and even before I became a true crafter I've always liked double-sided tape so at work I have this big old tape runner and I asked the supply person for tape and I'm looking for a pickup because and I don't have one of those true pickup tools I'm just going to use this to try to pick up this um, tape Anyway, I asked him for some double-sided tape. Do you know he gave me something like this, but like this wide? And I was like, you know, this is not double-sided tape, right? I said, double-sided tape doesn't have any backing on it. This is like craft tape for crafters. And he was like, that's what they told us to order. And I was like, okay. So the secretary, I asked her, she and I are, are friends. And I asked her, I said, um... Is this double-sided tape? Tell me the difference between it, because I have a little bit left on my tape runner at work. She started laughing at me. I said, no, tell me, because I need to know. Um, am I going crazy? That tape, you know how when you um, are wrapping Christmas presents and you have that cheap wrapping paper and the paper just kind of balls up on you? That's how that tape is. I, if I can remember, I will um, make a quick little video of it at work when I get to work today and show you. Because that tape is not, it is double-sided tape, but it's not meant to put on a tape roll and tear off because the tape is so flimsy. Once you put it on there, it's a mess. So the last time I made a flip book, I put it up, the stuff upside down, so it was an upside down flip book. And I don't want to do that this time. And this flip book is not going to anyone. I don't have anyone in mind right now. Um, flip books, in my opinion, a lot of things that I create do not go to regular non-crafters. Only because they don't craft. And they don't know the workmanship you put in to making some of this stuff. So I don't like to give them... Things like my, um, one of my good friend's daughter, I made her flip book, and I, um, asked if she liked it, and she was like, yes, son, Brandy, I love it. I was like, what are you doing with it? Looking at it. <laughs> I was like, okay. I told you I made a pocket letter for one of my coworkers, and she put it on the refrigerator. So, yeah. Um, this Holly Sprig is going to have to do... And I think I'll probably slap something over that one. But I really only need it for two sides, which is fine. So I can get away with that one. And this one being like that, which is cool. I could do this, but I don't want to. I'm going to pause the video. You see me apply one. You don't need to see me apply the other one. And I'm at 24 minutes. So this cradle will be a long one. Okay, so here we are with the completed outsides, at least, or the plain covers. And I'm going to definitely do something to this flap, so don't you worry your pretty little heads. I am going to probably put this, I thought I had a thin piece of snowflakes that I can cut down a little bit. 
use my furry arms. Um, <laughs> so I'll probably put something like this down, maybe. I don't know, because that's a lot right there. It's busy, isn't it? So anyway, tell me how you store your um, paper punches. The wizard sent me a link of how I, I, I think I'm going to do my punches, but not now. Once I leave, I don't want to buy more stuff because I have already told you all I need to save my money to move because I'm moving myself. So, you know, um, I need to get a U-Haul or Penske or a Rider or whatever. Do they even have Rider anymore? Anyway, it's not important. I digress. Excuse me. So here you go. You open that up, and then you open this. So we're gonna be decorating these insides really quickly. But this is how the back looks. But before we decorate the insides, I am going to grab some scissors, and I'm gonna put this on the front because if I don't put it on there right now, this minute while my head is thinking about it, I'll end up trying to do something else to the front. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out, and we're going to cut it together, I suppose. Um, I do have a tag puncher. I grabbed it when it was um, on sale at Michael's. Buy one, get one free. And then they had a 20% off coupon along with it, I believe. You know, all your purchases, even the things that were on sale. I really do enjoy those type of deals um, in my opinion it makes you want to not go out and buy but you can get the things that you feel you need and I was telling the wizard that I needed a few punches that I really felt like I needed to have in my tool shed I needed a, a tag punch, which I got, and I needed a scallop punch, which I got. And now, I haven't seen, I do want to get, which I probably won't get anytime soon, I was thinking about getting one of those EK Success um, punches, um, the burger one, or one that has a few pieces, because I've seen a few ladies on YouTube, she she and um, Bible scraps. Felicia do a lot of cute things with it. They had a series, um, or they were doing like a collaboration a couple of months ago, or maybe it was the end of last year, where they were doing um, EK punches and they were taking their punches and doing different things with it. So I'm gonna probably put this a little tilted. I don't want everything to be straight, straight, straight. And I will not be corner around in this because the tag. And I, I try to leave a little bit of the white on so it doesn't look so black on black um, on top of that. So I'm not going to ink it up. And now what I want to do, because I want this to have a little bit of dimension, I'm going to put it on some foam. And this came from the Dollar Tree, um, if you're interested and go in and get some. I believe that when this first came out, some of the ladies were sh sharing it and um, everybody went out and bought it all up. But now they're restocking because it's back to school time, which is good for crafters. You can definitely get a lot of great craft items. You know, scissors, tape, glue, whatever you use and I'm putting it um, I'm gonna put six on there because I don't want it to slink down in the middle or maybe five yep just five so we have that and I'm just gonna do that with it okay so I've done some research on my video Recording, I'll probably put something up here. Like, if I knew the person that was getting it, I could put their initial, like, B or something for my name. But I don't know who I'm giving this to, so whoever receives this, this will probably be blank. But I've did some research on um, the recording of these vi my videos, and 
I'm just gonna let it play and then string it together. So now this is the part that you, if you're going, if you're following along, if you made one of these using what I've showed you or taught you or however you feel I've done, whatever I've done, you have to be very, very careful, careful with this section. Because if you glue all of this down, you're gonna glue in your pocket. And I usually leave my pockets open, exposed. So since someone can't measure properly, me, that me, if I'm that someone, I um, am going to be doing a lot of covering up. So this is going to be a, a heavy pocket. Um, I'm going to see if I have some papers that are long enough to cover up. See, it's not long enough. I would prefer all of this to be covered in this exposed. But I think I'm just going to have to go with it and stop crying about it. Nothing's worse than a crybaby crafter, right? And here we go. So that piece works, and I'm going to use um, a half inch versus an entire inch. And I'm going to ink this, I mean, going to round the corners and ink it up. And I like that you can see if you have paper in there at all because sometimes I just put the paper in and don't pay attention and it doesn't come out properly. At all. And that's not good. So, I made a purchase from an online craft store. I'm not going to say the name of it. If I tell you the, the details, you'll probably be like, oh, I know what she's talking about. And I have decided that I'm not going to be making purchases from that location anymore. Um, I don't like waiting forever for my stuff. If things are on back order, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But when... It's not on back order. You don't communicate with me about what's going on. I'm left to my own devices to think that you feel that it's okay to do that when it's not. And not that I have goo gobs of money. You ever heard the term before? Goo gobs of money. Um, I definitely prefer to find things inexpensive. As long as it's the quality that I'm looking for. You know, if I like I always say, if you buy something from Dollar Tree or the dollar store, whatever weird, and they have stuff for a dollar, you're gonna get what you pay for in some instances. So I don't mind paying two dollars more on something that I'm going to get what I want when I want it. And I'm a very patient person, I'll tell you. I was talking to the wizard and I got in my, um, I finally got in the Tim Holtz stamp thingy. I don't even know what the real name is called, but I got it finally. And I was going to, I may do a, um, excuse the noise. I may do a, a um, what is that thing called? An unboxing for my crater. And see, I'm very patient because I got it yesterday and I definitely could have just, opened it up and been like hey you guys look what I got let's do this I mean it's not a big deal because I waited what three months for that but they were in constant contact with me saying hey you know we're still fighting copyright issues I guess the the owners or the cr original creators the people that got to do theirs first is big on copyright infringement unfortunately for those people the original tool is super expensive. I would not spend 80 bucks on a craft tool that does one thing, which is hold my stamps in place. Now, if I was a big stamper, if I was into stamping a lot, and that was my thing, and that's how I made my money, yeah, of course. I'm all for um, proprietorship, but... 
you know, sometimes you got to let other people eat. And I'm just cutting this paper because it's a tad bit too long, which is fine. The good thing about paper pads is they're all designed to match. And what I've done, just so you know where my head is, you see these little white circles and red circles. I figured, hey, we can go from white circles to white and red dots. And then this next page over here will be something red or either gold or green. And so the colors do match up and it's all Christmas related. And I'm just using my half inch corner rounder again. And I'm going to ink this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I was just sitting here thinking that I wanted to share some information with you all and I will share the information and I started thinking that I hadn't seen any comments from Doris. Doris, I hope you're okay. Um, and the reason why I was thinking about you is because I know you forgot, your, your husband forgot his password and then you forgot your password. Um, and I was going to say that I have a video, I was thinking that I needed to release a video um, tomorrow but the pictures I've already taken off my cell phone and I can't, I don't know my password to get on Instagram from the computer. Isn't that bananas? See, I don't know if that, that flows. What do you think? I mean, it's going to be too late because I'm going to make a decision right now. But I don't think that really flows well. And it's kind of like nude on nude or skin tone on skin tone. Just digging in here. Look, that's not too bad actually, but I'm not going to put that in there. Um, if I had chosen smaller envelopes to craft with, I definitely could have just used those pages. But because I'm from Go Big or Go Home, I chose to go big and now I'm stuck. <laughs> I hope you all have enjoyed this crater. I think it's going to be a two part. No, it's not going to be two part because I'm just going to attach these two things together. It's just going to take a while to upload, which I'm okay with as long as I get it up before midnight. And I'm not really competing with anyone or doing anything because this is all of my own doing. Um, so I guess I'm okay with whatever I do. And as long as you are all okay with it. I know that some vloggers or some other crafters are doing VEDA, which is vlog or video every day for the month of August. And it, people do it twice a year. They do it in April and August. So next April, maybe you can do it. Or you can do, you know, vlog weekly or whatever. And here we go. Yay. This is what I was looking for, this green one. Because all of my projects, with the exception of maybe three or four, have my favorite colors in them. Because I'm just like that I guess and that did not look good to me so I'm not going to put it on there let me find something I don't want to keep y'all hostage looking for paper okay so we are finished with decorating it with the paper and this is where I'm going to end the video because I'm going to decorate it later at a later time but I just want to do a quick flip through of the flip book so this is the front page and looks like that. Then when whoever opens it, opens it, it's going to be this. And what I plan on doing, just so you know, is I'm going to stamp out some word sentiments in the spaces where they're open. So like here I have a 25. I think I'm going to put that and maybe here I want to try some glitter, glitter gluing stamping. So I'm going to try that. Um on the next on one of my craters but it won't be on this project it'd be a different project 
and then you open it again and you have these panels um, this panel is a little bit either cut wrong or crooked and I'm okay with that and then at the bottom right here I'm going to stamp something so all the spaces where it's nothing that I'm going to stamp it or either put um, a bow a flat bow probably or some ribbon or something so I know that it's naked up here which I'm okay with I'm going to just decorate it differently so this is how the inside looks and then what I plan on doing here I'm not going to put a lot of stuff in here um, I don't think I want to put a lot of stuff in here because normally I put like flip cards and um, uh, project life cards and all that and then I take things and stuff it in the inside but I think what I'm going to do is keep it simple for the recipient so that she can for example take these and do what she wants with them like these look like candy to me um, you know you could put a line right here and draw a smite um, put something in there they definitely look like candy as well as when I did for my Christmas in July what I did was I took and I stepped bar humbug in there so that could definitely be something that you know the recipient can do she can stamp in some sentiments if she likes but I will probably put some of those in there from the paper collection and then I have some ornament dies that I have if I can remember to pull that out I may do that and then this is how the back looks and I love how um, it came out and I really really want to try my hand at a, a small little photo album and so I'll be looking at the um, clumsy crafters videos she makes beautiful photo albums and I'll definitely look into her videos because I love how she puts them together um, I want to try some punch techniques and she she does that really well so thank you all for watching I really appreciate your love and support that you've shown me throughout these first couple of days in Crater, the month of August. Um, happy Crater.